GM, sir, wog me today, but this is NFA, so please, D-Y-O-R, and <laughs> don't FOMO. Because we're at the tipping point of Web 3.0. 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 So, Web 3. That's a word that you may have heard in recent years, but what web and why three? Let's go back to the early 90s, starting with web one. 30 years ago, the World Wide Web was born. Web pages back then were all static and simple. They were built on only raw HTML. People could browse the internet and consume content, but were not able to interact with anyone else. Imagine reading a book in the library with no one else around. Now let's fast forward to 10 years later to web two. The evolution of more interactive web pages as people can not only consume content, but they can also create content. The rise of major companies like YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook are good examples and have undoubtedly transformed the way we engage with the internet. And now, Web3, where we consume, create, and own our content online. Web3 is built on top of a new technology called blockchain, which is a secure and transparent digital ledger that stores information in a way that makes it difficult to tamper with. To go more in-depth in blockchain, check out our three-part series linked below, or tap on the card on the top right of the video. Moving on, you might be asking, so what can you do in Web3? Well, the two most notable trends are non-fungible tokens, NFTs, and decentralized finance or DeFi. As the term non-fungible in the name suggests, they are tokens where there are not two of the same. NFTs play a big role in preserving authenticity by making use of blockchain technology. This way, it helps create a verifiable and immutable record of ownership of the tokens you own. Now, DeFi, short for decentralized finance, refers to financial services executed on public blockchains between users without intermediaries. This means you can lend, borrow, and trade without a bank. That is possible because these services are usually automatically executed with smart contracts which are also like coded instructions. However, with great power comes great responsibility. While DeFi can open up exciting possibilities, it is important that you are aware of the risks. These services can be unpredictable and volatile. Because there are fewer regulations and a level of anonymity, you should approach DeFi opportunities carefully. And DYOR. You might be asking, how about real life use cases? Well, we can split the most common ways Web3 is used into four categories physical merchandise, gaming, loyalty programs, and documents. Physical merchandise. We've seen numerous Web3 projects collaborating with notable Web2 brands to produce physical items. Brands such as Hugo Boss, Nike, and Adidas, and many more. This helps to bridge the gap between the two audiences and offers Web3 projects real-world benefits to their members. Gaming. NFTs have also been used to denote in-game assets, and blockchain tokens have been used to denote in-game currency. Many Web2 gaming companies like Square Enix, Zynga, known for Final Fantasy and Farmville respectively, are also entering with new games to leverage on Web3. The assets players own in-game can actually be sold, bought, and traded on the blockchain. Loyalty programs. There are also many Web2 brands that are using NFTs for their loyalty programs. Samsung's Epic Beginnings and McDonald's Grimace NFTs are a few examples. These are digital collectibles given out to their users and give extra perks to them. Tickets and documents. Ticket vendors like Ticketmaster and Live Nation have already launched their own NFTs as digital collectibles. They are commemorative items like a unique digital version of your ticket, and they can offer additional perks like exclusive content or access to meet and greets. OpenCert, built on a blockchain platform, publishes a unique code onto the blockchain upon each certificate issuance by an educational institution. This code ensures its authenticity and allows you to share your certificate to employers or anyone easily. I'm sure you have heard some things about Web3 and blockchain already, but are they mere myths or 
the truth. Web3 and blockchain equals Bitcoin. This is a very common misconception. While Bitcoin does use blockchain technology, there is more to that than just the cryptocurrency. Web3 itself is a very broad concept that focuses on digital ownership and covers many different technologies and principles like networks, cryptocurrencies, and tokenized assets. Hacks, rugs, and scam projects. Hackers and scammers are everywhere in the world and this happens on a daily basis and Web3 is no exception. There have been many high profile hacks, rug pulls and outright scams. However, these do not represent the core values of Web3 and these also occur frequently on Web2. This highlights the need for better user education and regulation from the governments. Crypto is best for criminals only. While some criminals do indeed use cryptocurrencies for illicit activities, the vast majority of users do not. Unfortunately, criminals always find ways to exploit existing systems, and both fiat currency and cryptocurrency can be used for illicit activities. However, since blockchain technology works like a public ledger, and each transaction is recorded and available to the public, it can actually offer a higher degree of transparency if you compare it to traditional financial systems. It's important to remember that blockchain is a tool, and like any tool, it can be used for good or evil. Web3 is about building a more equitable and empowering internet that we own. Are we ready for this new revolution? Totes.